Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakallah khairan. This is a beautiful dua. But quite often, and I remember especially when I was in the UK, you'd hear brothers say Jazakallah, or they just put JZK uh, as a shortened abbreviation in messages. So uh, in, in Arab countries, you never ever hear the Arab brothers saying Jazakallah. They always say Jazakallahu khairan or Jazakallahu khairan jaza. Because uh, in this sentence in Arabic, uh, it's made up of four things. Jaza, which is the verb. The ka, which is the uh, direct object or the first direct object. Allah, al-lafz al-jalala, is the doer of, this, uh, of the action of the verb. And khayran is the second direct object. You have to have the second direct object. Otherwise, what is it that you're asking Allah to give uh, your brother or your sister? So, jazakallahu khayran. And there's a, a hadith in Sahih Tirmidhi uh, where the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said, if anyone or if someone does you a favor and you say Jazakallahu Khairan, then you have indeed excelled in praising him. So this is also from the Sunnah to say this. From living here in Kuwait, I know um, many of the people in general, like outside of religious discussions, they don't really say Jazakallahu Khairan, but they say things like Allah Ya'atik al afia So instead of saying Allah Ya'atik, may Allah give give you they they always have you know that second direct object al afia or you know something similar something good so uh advice to my my brothers and sisters of course jazakallahu khairan don't just say jazakallah because you're not actually specifying what it is you want allah to give your brother or sister you should say jazakallahu khairan li'anna because this is from the dua of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and also for the completeness of the sentence barakallahu fikum I hope this was beneficial. Assalamu alaikum.